Hey guys, I am filming my July hates and greats video and I cannot believe another month has gone like come and gone like so fast. Um, I feel like I just made this video yesterday. Okay, maybe not yesterday, but you know like like a while ago, you know, like I don't know, I'm just baffled by how fast time is flying by. Um, so I guess we'll get started. Um, basically for the summer season I've just been loving cream blushes in general and I'm going to show you the ones that I have. Um, I put this on my last, uh, my June video, but this is the Revlon Cream Blush in Rosy Glow. If I can open it, it looks like that. It's a real pretty uh, pinky peach color. So I've been liking that, and then I have some more uh, cream blushes, and I finally picked up the NYC Blushable Cream Sticks, and this one is in Plaza Pink. I finally picked up one of these YouTube favorites, and I do love them. They're great. Um, that was a story I should tell y'all. I was determined to find them because I couldn't find them anywhere in my drugstore where I live. So I literally one Sunday went to maybe about seven Walgreens and CVS's, maybe about seven to nine, to, and I finally found them, and it was just crazy. My fiance was driving me around, like, I had it mapped out, like, every single place I wanted to go to find those, and I did find them, so that was great, but that was a tiring, tiring Sunday, let me just say. The other one I have is in the color Big Apple Blush. Looks like that. And um, I have a couple of the Dream Mousse blushes from Maybelline. I have number 20 in Peach Satin and I have number 25 in Rose Petal. So I'm really liking these. These are really good too. I'm wearing um, whoops, Peach Satin right now underneath uh, Hypnos from MAC. Um, another thing I've been loving, I've been trying out a lot of foundations and the ones I'm loving is, this one is raved about all over YouTube, you're probably tired of hearing it, but the Dream Smooth Mousse from Maybelline. And it's the one that you kind of twist and it looks like this. And yes, it's too dark for me, but ugh, that's another story. Um, so yeah, I'm liking this. It gives really good coverage. Um, it's real smooth over your skin. So like a lot of people are like, it's so smooth. I'm like, well, duh, it's a smooth mousse foundation. But yeah, I can't help but say it either. It is really smooth. It does live up to its name and its expectations. So it is a really good foundation. Um, if you're in a drugstore foundations and you haven't tried it and are, you know want to try it, I would say it's, it's pretty worth it. Um, of course, I'm a bargain hunter, so I would definitely say wait till you can get to Walgreens or CVS when they're having a buy one, get one half off. But that's just me. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking this. I need to find the right color for me. This is too dark. And the problems I was having was that it's it's hard to find um, something with a yellow undertone. A lot of them are pink undertone. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am liking this. It doesn't last a long time. This is turning into a review, isn't it? Sorry. It doesn't last like a long time. I would give it about eight hours before it starts wearing off. Um, a lot of people were like, wow, that's all I need. But... For me, I just like, I don't like touching up my makeup. I like it to just stay there until I'm ready to take it off at night. But other than that, it's a good product. Um, the next thing I'm loving is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I'm just loving the Maybelline Dream line. Like, everything I'm loving. The blushes, the foundations, the concealer, and the powder. And this is the setting powder, and it's the matte one. And uh, I'm in, what color am I? Medi Sand, medium, zero to dash one. And this is a really good setting powder. I really like it. I can put it over any foundation. And I don't have a problem with oily skin, um, just like around my nose area. But I really do like this. I think this is like the essential for every foundation. And it really does uh, give it a really, give your foundation a nice look to it after you apply it. And it does hold it in. I noticed that with, when, and, eh. Wow, I can't talk. In conjunction with the Dream Smooth Mousse, um, I, they work a lot better. This stays on a little bit longer when I apply this on top of it. So, yep, there's that. And recently, I kind of was... I reorganized my whole collection. I actually have a new uh, storaging system on my on my makeup collection, so if y'all are interested in that, just let me know in the, in the comments below if y'all want to see my new uh, storage um, setup and... Um, I kind of rediscovered this in my in my collection. It's the Dream Matte Mousse uh, in Nude Light Number no. Four, and this is still a little bit too dark for me. And it's that moussey texture foundation. And I used to use this back in high school, not this exact one, but I used to use it back in high school. And I kind of for I don't even know why I stopped using it. I think it's just I've I always want to try out new foundations, and that's kind of the kind of person I am. I always want to try something new to see if I can find my holy grail. 
Um, and then I forget about things. So this one is really good. I really enjoy using this. And I've been alternating between these two products um, back and forth. Um, another thing I'm loving is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. And I have an Ivory Light 2 to 3.5. And it looks just like the foundation I just showed you, but it's way more creamier. And I've been using this under uh, for my under eye circles, and I like this too. So basically, Maybelline's doing a really good job with these Dream Mousse lines. Um, like I said, I'm loving, or just the Dream line period, I'm loving the matte powder, the concealer, the smooth mousse, and the matte mousse. Um, but there is one thing from them I'm not liking, and I'll show that to you in the hates part. Another thing I'm loving is the Soft Lips uh, Lip Protectant with Sunscreen SPF 20 and Coconut Cream. Those of y'all that watch me know this summer I've been on a big coconut kick and I've been wanting everything coconut. My body scents, my spl body splashes, and lotions, and uh, there's no exceptions for the lip balm. So this is really going to like that. And the next thing I'm loving is a combination that I use, and it was featured in one of my videos that I just filmed in this tutorial, actually. And it is the uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion and, what, and the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. Now, these are two good mascaras on their own, but I love using them together. And what I do is I curl my lashes and I apply Lash Blast Fusion on uh, my upper lashes as one coat. And then before it dries, I put on the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express, and this one has like that spoon shape, um, kind of a uh, applicator. So what I do is after I apply the lash blush, I use the spoon side. So you see how it dips in. I use that side up against my lashes and curl it out, and then I go in with one of the side parts and just kind of like, you know, go back in there. And it does create like really pretty look on my lashes. So I'm really liking these this combo. It's a really good combo. Um, so yeah, if any of y'all have this, these two mascaras, I would definitely recommend trying it. Um, I really like the look. And then of course I use the Lash Blast Fusion on my lower lashes. So that's it for the July greats part. Now we have the hates part. So, like I said, I've been loving the Maybelline Dream lines, like all of these. And so I figured, oh, if I like all these, I should try the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. Um, I'm sure to love it too if I've tried those and... No, I don't love it. I, I, don't, I don't know what it is about it. It's a really nice concept. I like that it's moussey and it's thicker so you don't need a lot and it has a pump. But it just doesn't do anything for me at all. Like, I think it makes my skin look worse than it is. And those of y'all that watch me know I don't have problematic skin. But it doesn't make it look any better. It just it kind of makes it look boring. and I don't know. I just don't like it. There's something about it I don't like. And I have it in two colors. light Classic Ivory Light 2. And... Nude Light 4. So these are going to go back to the drugstores, actually. Because I don't like them. And then another thing I am not liking is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Everyone raves about this saying it's just like NARS Sugar Glow. Well, I don't know if it's like NARS Sugar Glow because I never tried NARS Sugar Glow. But as for this foundation, again, this doesn't do anything for me. This actually accentuates my pores. It goes into my pores. Unlike the other foundations I showed you, um, those give a nice uh, appearance over the pores. And you can see where it's not dipping in. Um, and this one does the opposite effect. It goes into my pores and it's like, hello everyone, these are my pores. I'm huge, you know, and yeah, not to my benefit. So I don't like that one. And the last thing I'm hating on, um, just like I change foundations and routines, I change my hair products all the time. And I've never complained about a hair product until now because this one is just, it's horrible. Um, this is the Pantene Pro-V. It's a curly hair series. Uh, it's a two-in-one dry to moisturize shampoo and conditioner. It says it goes from dry to moisturize. My hair is not really dry, but I figured who you know who wouldn't want extra moisturizer? This thing lies. It dries out my hair like crazy. My hair is crazy dry because of it, and it's the complete opposite. It's like, oh, you want moisturized hair? Buy me. I'll make your hair so moisturized. And no, what it really means to say is, I'm a liar. I. I dry out your hair and it smells so good but this is a product fail for me this is not doing what it says and it says it's supposed to moisturize to control frizz and define curls no nope, not at all so this one I'm hating I'm just using it up to get rid of it so I'm sorry this was rushed but this is all um, from my July greats and hates and I hope y'all enjoyed it sorry if I went on a rant in some review mode but um, yeah I just wanted to get that information out there so I'll talk to you guys soon bye